Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Cookie Monster Pro Forge Racing, bringing you my personal history of Forge, part one of four, showing you all of the maps I've ever made from Halo 3 through Halo Reach 2009 through 2012. Uh, anyways, this part one is my oldest maps ever. This first one is called Fort Fat Pride. This was the first map I ever, ever forged on my old gamer tag, Fat Pride 27. I had that gamer tag, then Bob Ross 27, then Cookie Monster, and then Tall Glass of Man. Um, Cookie Monster, along with Bob Ross 27, was supposed to be a temporary account. Um, same with Tall Glass of Man, which are all uh, matchmaking accounts. But, anyways, this is a pretty cool Slayer map. Uh, it has two symmetrical bases, which are, well, not symmetrical, but they're pretty even uh, base A and B, and it's just got some random stuff. It's not so great, but, um,. You know, it's got some random bridges and stuff that cross all over the place. But, uh, it's a decent map, I think, for the first thing I ever forged. Uh, I didn't know how to put objects inside each other or anything, and I didn't really know how to do spawning or weapon setups. But, uh, I, I tried, and, uh, I mean, it was pretty fun. I got to play it with my friends a little bit. But, uh, anyways, this next map here is called The Dumb. And, uh, I made... Well, actually, I didn't make this map. This map I titled. This was made by my friend Jared. Because the first week I ever started forging, um, I was forging with my friends Jared and Zach. Um, we forged our maps. Uh, well, we forged them all the same week. This one's called... <laughs> and Zach made this. He thought it was funny to make traps on his maps for people to fall in. And when we would all play and, you know, someone would fall in, Zach would get a kick out of it. This was the second map I ever made called Fat Pride Raceway. This was the first racetrack I ever made, obviously. And it's not so great, but I wanted to make it as opposed to just like a nice like racetrack. I don't know. I wanted it to be like kind of an obstacle course E racetrack type thing. I don't know exactly. Uh, throughout this whole four part series, um, by the way, the only maps that I do a. Um, a like I actually do gameplay on are my racetracks on Halo 3. I don't do it on any of my Reach racetracks because I think everyone's seen them and uh, I didn't have enough people or anything and it would be way too long to do it on all my Slayer maps and uh, non-racetracks. But uh, anyways, this, uh, I mean, it's kind of a cool racetrack. I had fusion coils all over the place so that, you know, people would hit them and go flying because I like doing that, and in Halo 2, I would play on a few maps, Headlong, the, the city map that they remade uh, in Anniversary, uh, as well as this other map, I can't remember the name, but it was this big old cave, and uh, both of those maps had fusion coils on the map, and uh, we would play Demo Derby, and we would push each other uh, off the maps and stuff, and we would try and knock each other into fusion coils, and I purposely drove into them there so you can see what I mean, it's just fun. Um, this one's called Super Awesome, and I either made it with my friend Jared or Zach, um, but, uh, I can't really remember. It was an attempt at a Slayer map we started and didn't finish. Uh, this video is probably more so for me than it is for any of you. I just, it's kind of like a trip down memory lane for me, because this is, like, all of high school. I started for, I got Xbox, this was super cool, by the way, and I made it with Jared or Zach, I can't remember. Just another one of these weird Slayer maps. But, um, I got... Xbox Live, um, Christmas Day, or the day after Christmas, um, in 2008, uh, which was the beginning of ninth grade for me, like, two, two months after I started ninth grade, and so, uh, I pretty much, you know, I started forging, like, a month or two after I got the game, I made my first, like, these kinds of maps, where I didn't really care too much about how they looked, and I wasn't, like, trying to become a forger, and I didn't know of any other forgers or anything, I just kind of, like, tried making Slayer maps, but, um, uh, yeah, so I've pretty much been forging all of high school, uh, so it's kind of like, you know, a trip down high school memory lane for me, but this one's called Super Amazing, and I know we intentionally made the titles all gay, like, not gay, but stupid, that's how I usually mean gay, not homosexual, but, uh, like, the word soup with a capital R and then, like, a weird spelling of something else, I made this with my friend Nick Johnson, not just Nick, his name is Nick Johnson, um, he actually just graduated from, uh, the Navy, so I'm proud of him for that, but, um, the Navy boot camp, but this is a maze, it's a giant maze, that's pretty much all it was, you had to find the staircase, and if you know, uh, Foundry well, then 
it's not going to be hard. You have to find your way to the hallway, that hallway in the back of Foundry. So if you know Foundry, it's not hard. But this is a uh, super sexy. I started making this little house over here, and uh, I didn't finish it. But I made this with Jared or Zach again. I can't remember who I made all these maps with. This was the third map I made on my own called uh, Fat Pride Mansion. And uh, I remember when I was building the walls for it, uh, my friend Shan343, or something like that, uh, Shan joined the game, and he was like 9 at the time, and uh, um, I've always been nice to the young kids, uh, the, the squeakers, but uh, he joined, and he saw I was deleting one of the walls, because I wanted to move it over, and he thought I was deleting the whole thing, so he deleted a whole huge wall that I wanted to keep, and I, I remember getting all pissed off at him for that, and I felt bad after, because he was young, and he was like all upset, but uh, it's, it's a pretty cool map, it's just like this giant mansion, but um, this was uh, Word Up, which was the next map I made on my own. Um, and, uh, after I made those first three maps, I just kept on making them. Uh, right here is a bubble shield and a shotgun, like, underneath that you have to crouch to get to. And, um, you'll see that my maps get a little bit better and better. Uh, I don't know how to put objects inside each other at this point still, uh, for a long time, but I... I really try to make them look like cool, like real, like Slayer maps that, you know, uh, Bungie might make a variant of or something. Uh, this next one's called Double Decked because it has, it's a perfectly symmetrical map on both sides, uh, completely symmetrical left and right, but, uh, at the back of it, there's this giant, um, I don't know, this floor, and, uh, there's a bottom part, you can go under the floor or you can go on top of it, so it's like two layers, so I called it Double Decked, that's why... I was not great at naming that maps at this point. This is super cool V002. Uh, uh, it's barely changed. It's just with my OCD, I have to either throw every single map in or, you know, none of them. I can't, you know, leave just one or two of my forges out. Uh, this one is called Concealed. This was my attempt at an MLG map. I never understood how they made the maps uh, so small on MLG, but I, I realize now that's because they used walls and stuff to barricade that whole... Uh, you know, this, that whole area of the map, the, uh, the separated area of Foundry, uh, with, like, the, with the rooms and the hallway, I didn't realize that they bordered that whole area off, but other than that, it's a completely symmetrical and pretty cool map. This one's called Onstead, which is another Slayer map. I, I used to make so many of these. You'll see, first I make a ton of Slayer maps, then I make a ton of shitty racetracks, a ton of decent racetracks, and a ton of good racetracks. So, that's what you'll see. Uh, this part's mostly, uh, pretty much my Slayer maps, a few of my first racetracks, but I just wanted to make a 20 minute video, but it ended up being like an hour and 14 minutes long, so, uh, I had to split it up into four videos, but this one's called Battle Out, and the intent is that everyone will come to the center of the map where I have like four or five or six staircases up against each other, and they'll all battle it out right in the center of that map on the giant staircase section, but, uh, it's a pretty cool map, it's got like a, you know, nice turret room right uh facing the staircase and everything uh this map here is called fallen and uh this is the first of three maps that are all edited from this very same map these were the last uh slayer maps i made on uh foundry and uh, i think these ones were really cool i was super duper proud of these ones when uh super duper proud of these ones when they were finished um I don't know, because they had, like, tons of rooms to them and multiple layers. They were, like, these giant, like, houses or mansions or something. And uh, I was just super proud of them. I liked the way they turned out. And uh, most of these maps I never got to play with my friends because I didn't have many Xbox Live friends. Most of my friends on Xbox were my real-life friends. And so uh, if I were to play, I would play with them. But we didn't always play together. Uh, this one's called Chosen. Again, you'll see some differences. It's just pretty much the same map with just, you know, some pretty significant changes. But, um... I remember all of my friends used to play Xbox, you know, pretty much like, you know, like eight of my like 11 or 12 closest friends in real life, they used to play Xbox, all of us did, and uh, not only Xbox, but they would play Halo 3, and um, it was so much fun, we would play, my friend Jordan had like, you know, some of those racetracks that you'll see in my top 20 most downloaded uh, racetracks video, and um, my history of race video, and uh, I remember my friend Jordan had some of those, and he had this one game where uh, the zombies, uh, this one's called Risen, it's just a third version, you'll see, again, the significant changes besides the core of the map, but uh, Jordan had this one game on Sandbox, uh, Sand Trap, excuse me, on Sand Trap, where uh, everyone just had warthogs or, I guess, mongoose, some sort of vehicle, and um, 
there was zombies who were super fast, invisible, and had gravity hammers. So you just had to drive around sandbox. It was a giant map. And uh, you had no idea when they were coming. And all my friends and I, we'd be in like an eight-person Xbox Live party. And uh, everyone would be screaming because the zombie would be coming. Just all my best friends in real life. It was so much fun. And then they all started getting into either Call of Duty, sports games, or something else. But uh, this one's called Legit. And it's just... I. It's pretty much I used part of that map and tried to make another one, but I just, I tried to make something different than those three, but I just used, like, some of the maps similar, and I just never ended up finishing it. But then all my friends either stopped playing Xbox entirely or started playing other games. But this map is called The Speedway, and I made this with my friend Jake Barry. I was playing on my friend Jared's account, jkilla4200. He let me use his account so I could play matchmaking, because he, he was like, you know, a level like one or two. And uh, I was good at this point at matchmaking, so I could I used to get all my friends up to like 40s or 45s for them. You know, they were all like 30s, and it was fun. But um, I think this was a night before my... It was like 2 in the morning when we were finishing up this map. We started at like 11, and... uh. It was, like, the night before my birthday party. Like, as I'm saying, this is, like, a trip down memory lane. Like, all these maps I made with my friends. And this is pretty much just, like, you know, Christmas of ninth grade through, like, Christmas, practically. Christmas of ninth grade through, like, uh, Halloween of my first year in college, like, this week. So, it's pretty crazy how long, you know, this is. But, uh, this map's called the Speedway. Again, Jake and I kind of made it. I, I think I made more of it because I understood Forge because I'd made those Slayer maps. He never really did. But, um, I let Jake make the ending and, uh, you'll see how chaotic that got. But it was a lot of fun. I actually got to talk to Jake recently who's still back in Massachusetts eight hours away. So that was awesome. And we got to play some Halo together. Um, definitely miss all my friends and miss uh playing halo with them this was so much fun uh jake made this huge fusion coil part at the end where if you go slow you can just drive over them but it is kind of fun going fast and getting blown up uh this next map i made my third racetrack ever my second on sandbox called juicy speedway i made this with my friend nick johnson again he's nick johnson not nick uh everyone uh even his friends parents like my parents and uh everyone um you know, my friends, uh, girlfriends, my girlfriend, everyone calls him Nick Johnson. He's not Nick. Um, he's a great kid, though. He just graduated boot camp at the Navy. Not that anyone cares. It's just, again, it's just like trying to think, like, you know, back when I made all these maps, when I was hanging out with everyone, now we're all in different places doing different things. But, uh, I'm still playing Halo. I'm the cool one. <laughs> but anyways, this map is kind of cool. This part was my idea right here. Um... We didn't know how to make racetracks at this point. This is this is the start of my sandbox racetrack foraging, really. If I hadn't gone back and made Juicy Speedway with Jake, I probably would have never made a racetrack again. So I guess it's good I did. But uh, I, I added this little part, and Nick uh, helped me with that. <laughs> it's just like a, a, a little room that you can get trapped in. But uh, the other direction of this map is over here. And um, we had some jumps that were pretty inconsistent, but... Uh, you know, this is the type of map I made for a while. You'll see this in uh, the rest of this part and uh, part two. You will see maps just kind of like this. But, um, yeah, that jump. The landing was like a third of how wide the, uh, um, the jump itself was. And it was like not lined up. And um, the end of this map was cool because, uh, I don't know. I, I liked how if you went um, parallel to the wall... And, uh, like, perpendicular to the man cannons, it kind of, like, spun you over the wall sometimes. But, um, anyways, this next map's called Speedway o Fun. I, I know, I know, I know. I wasn't good at naming maps back then, alright? Shut up. But, uh, it's just a ridiculous, ridiculous racetrack. Just like all of my, uh, oldest sandbox maps were. But what's fun about these is, uh, my friends, like, Zach and Jared, they made some, too. Um on sandbox not many though none of us made well none of them made too many i did but uh what you could do is you could use any piece to make any kind of jump any kind of stunt any kind of part any kind of tunnel it didn't matter what it looked like like once i got into double wides i wanted them to be smooth i wanted to use you know wall doubles wall tees block doubles um the whatever they were called the block long or block wide or something and um you know, then the bridges, and that was about it. And uh, I wanted them to be smooth turns, hills, 
I guess some waves and um, maybe a jump or an elevator here and there, but that was it. But with these, we could just do anything with any kind of piece. They could look like anything, and so it was kind of fun. You know, we would all just make our maps, and they would just be ridiculous. And like uh, this part right here is just like this giant staircase that you take one bumpy step at a time, and then you go down, and on the other side is something completely different. So it was kind of fun making them. You know, we'd have sleepovers, and we would just, you know forged you know ridiculous maps so uh you know this is how my racetrack forging got started i know a lot of people would consider me the or one of the best racetrack forgers ever but you know what like well only in halo reach not nearly in halo 3 i was maybe number 100 in halo 3 but um in i mean this is how i started so this is why i'm always really nice to people when they're first starting this is why I've given, you know, like a hundred people one-on-one -on -one Forge tutorials. This is why I'm always willing to check out people's maps. I'm always willing to test their maps. And if I don't give someone a Forger review, I don't, you know, tell them, you know, your map sucked. I give them specific details on how to fix their maps, specific, you know, examples from their maps and everything. And I, I tell them exactly how they can fix it because I know what it's like to be a shitty Forger. I had to teach myself how to forge everything in Halo 3. How to put all, all I did was I learned how to put objects inside each other and then learned how to ghost merge. I learned how to merge and then ghost merge, but I taught myself how to, you know, put those skills into making racetracks and making bank turns and everything. So, uh, I, it's hard and it took me hundreds of maps to teach myself. So, uh, that's why I'm always willing to help people. But, um, this map's called Mongoose Mayhem. It was a challenge map, challenge racetrack, and, um, this map, uh, I have two checkpoints. I have four Mongeese at the start, two right here, and two later on. Uh, it's a pretty fun map, actually. It's not terribly challenging, because I went back and I, I was able to do it, and I only failed one time. Um, coming up, there's a, a part on some lily pads, and you'll see I did fail that part, and um, I had to edit it a little bit. The edit should be pretty unnoticeable. Um, I think I did a decent job with the edit. It was like right there not too bad but um yeah I mean it, it's not that challenging a map but it was just fun to make <laughs> um oh believe me though when I when I made uh, fat pride raceway that first racetrack I was like oh my god what a good idea I'll make a racetrack I'll bet no one's ever made a racetrack before but they had of course um by the way I love racing I used to play Mario Kart both Mario Kart's Crash Bandicoot Racing. I played um, the four-wheeling video games, the uh, ATV Off-Road Fury, and then there's this other ATV, ATV Quad Power Racing. And uh, that one you could kick people off and stuff. It was less realistic, but it was so much fun. I played NASCAR Thunder. I played the uh, MX Unleashed. I played um, Burnout. I played all sorts of racing games. And believe me, I kicked ass at them. And uh, I was, I've always been interested in racing all my life. I've always wanted to race dirt bikes. And I finally got a dirt bike in sixth grade. And I had it for six years now. And I still haven't raced it. But, um unfortunately but i've always loved racing something about it racing vehicles not really on foot but uh racing vehicles it's just something about it's always been fun to me when i would play grand theft auto i would go riding on the dirt bikes and um you know it was just fun and i think it was um saints row there was this little like demo derby thing you could do it was pretty fun but uh anyways this one's called racer speedway again lame name i know i used to not you know everyone names their maps something you know like Quantum or Backburner, you know, those are just two examples of the first sandbox maps, but, uh, I, I didn't realize, you know, other people made racetracks, really, so, um, I just gave them weird-ass names, um, but as you'll see in part two, my racetrack forging gets a little bit better, part three, you'll see my best sandbox racetrack, and part four is just my Halo Reach maps, which most of you have probably seen, but if you still want to hear my commentary on that and if you still want to see them all compiled please feel free to watch all of these as well as my other halo 3 history videos please i would really appreciate it uh my my top 10 sandbox racetrack forgers top 10 my top 20 most downloaded maps and uh history of race itself so thank you guys very much for watching cook it out